This is a classic videotape. Unscrew and retrieve the tape. Drill a hole in the center. And secure it with hot glue. This is what I use for a mandrel. It's from a fishing rod, 15mm at the big end and 10mm at the small end. This is a carbon fiber aeroshaft. And again, I will secure it with um, hot glue. Total length of the boom will be 55 centimeters. And now I will measure the two ends of the rod to estimate the length of the fiber that I will need for the layer setup. I will be wrapping two layers, so I need to wrap the tape two full times uh, to measure the length of the layer. After that, I will unwrap the tape and set it on the paper to get the final measurement. I will be wrapping two layers plus one centimeter uh, overlapping. I do the same from the other side as well. Here I'm cutting the pattern to use it as a guide for cutting a glass fiber cloth. Fiber will be placed at 45 degrees. And I will gently pick up the cloth uh, in order not to disturb the fibers. In this build I will be using carbon fiber toe since it's uh, the only material available. But it's better to use a unidirectional carbon fiber tape. 
carbon fiber tow is very difficult to handle and uh, the fibers will uh, dissolve very easily. Here I'm trying to straighten the fibers. A bit weird, but that's all I can think about. And I will be adding three pieces of it. Once uh, in place, I will secure them with a piece of tape uh, so they won't be moving around when I will be applying uh, the epoxy. This is how I build my turning jig, two pieces of balsa, uh, attached to the table edge with some spring clamps. And the uh, electric uh, screwdriver as a turning force. Very easy and simple, effective and also easy to set up and uh, storage. Now I will be greasing the mandrel, but I need the two ends to be dry, so I will secure them with some uh, clear tape. Here I'm using Vaseline for hands. Take a big chunk with your finger and slowly apply it to the entire mantle. Don't worry if it's too much, we will be removing it later. As you can see, I'm taking my time so I can ensure a good application. Now I will wipe the excess um, using my fingers and still uh, leave a good amount of um, grease uh, on the surface. When I'm done, I will untape the two ends, uh, leaving them uh, free of uh, grease. The videotape has one surface that won't stick to epoxy. This surface is the inside surface of the roll. If you're not sure which side is which, you can stick a piece of tape on uh, one side and check if the material um, on tapes uh, with the tape. This for example is the bad side, which should not contact the epoxy. For wrapping the mandrel, you should install the tape with the bad side uh, facing the mandrel. As you can see, I'm using the dry spot of the mandrel to secure the tape and I will start wrapping uh, from the small um, end of the mandrel. Wrap using slow speed and uh, take care to overlap at least by 50%. Also wrap applying uh, medium to low pressure on the tape. It's also smart to practice wrapping a couple of mantras before you apply any grease. This will give you an idea of what the wrapping is all about 
uh, before uh, doing the real thing. Now I'm applying the epoxy. Rolling uh, towards one side, and not uh, back and forth, in order not to disturb with the fibers. It looks uh, strange coming the toe, but um, it's all I have. As I said, it's better to use a unidirectional uh, cloth. Be careful not to epoxy the last one centimeter, since this would be used um, for the spray glue to secure the fiber onto the mantra. Remove all excess epoxy using some toilet paper. Give a pass through with a spray glue onto the mantra. And use this side to attach the glass fiber onto the mandrel. And now carefully roll your mandrel onto the layers. After this, set up your ro rolling jig again and do the final wrap with a videotape. Make sure that the good side of the tape uh, contacts uh, the epoxy and use uh, medium strength again to wrap the tape. Unfortunately, the camera ran out of space so I haven't uh, recorded the final step, but it should be straightforward and easy. This is after the final wrap and as you can see some drops of epoxy are oozing out of the sides of the tape. Go ahead and gently wipe it off. Let's see the final result. With a small end uh, pointing down, give a gentle push and it should be able to release. Now give it a good uh, trim and it's ready to go. Very good, uh, nice shiny finish. And very lightweight. Total weight 9.1 G. I will be using this in a 1 meter DIG and check its durability. Thanks for watching. Bye.